Welcome to Leadership Talk, Improving Your Grant Applications. Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development Industry Leadership Staff provide information on building the organizational capacity within the agriculture sector, which results in high-performing organizations. This content is designed for informational purposes. This information is not intended to be a substitute for professional, legal, or financial advice. Organizations should consult their professional advisors related to specific situations. Today, we will cover funding sources, what are grants and where to find them, how to apply, and how to improve your grant applications. All nonprofit organizations are in need of funds to advance their strategic plans and goals. There are a variety of traditional sources, including income from within the organization, such as hosting of activities or events, facility or equipment rental, fee for services offered, membership fees, or legislated checkoff systems. External funding sources include hosting activities and events, sponsorship such as financial or in-kind contributions, for example the local radio station offering free advertising, advertising, for example ads in programs, posters, websites, or at facilities, donations, these may be financial but may also be in-kind, for example, a local business donates an item that is needed by the organization. Bequests, and finally, grants. Grants are available from government at all levels, municipal, provincial, and federal, corporations, foundations, and organizations. You may be aware of grants in your area from advertising in local media. Be sure to do an internet search. There are several sites that list local, provincial, national, and international organizations that provide grants for various purposes. Large corporations may have an employee-linked grant process. These could include funding that is raised and assigned by an employee committee, and grant funds available to groups that their employees volunteer with or belong to. Do they have links to your organization? Does your area have a community foundation? You may already be involved by making donations, but perhaps they have grant monies that would assist with your organization's goals as well. Check their websites or watch the local media for announcements about grants and application deadlines. Service groups or other organizations may be willing to partner with you on large projects or to support a specific initiative. In part, the Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary defines grant as a verb, bestow or transfer formally, grant of scholarship to a student, specifically to give the possession or title of by a deed or a noun, the act of granting, something granted, especially a gift, as of land or money, for a particular purpose. Grants will require that your organization and project meet eligibility criteria and that you submit a complete application. Grants may have a number of additional requirements, such as matching funds or in-kind support, letters of support from the community for the project, post-project reports, and recognition for the grantor. For example, mentioning the grantor in media announcements or having naming rights on a capital project. Before applying for a grant, do a thorough research of grants that may be available to support the goals and initiatives of your organization. Do your organization goals fit the goals of the grant? What are your organization goals? What are the goals of the grants? And is there a good match? 
To begin applying for grants, obtain the application form and criteria. These may be available in hard copy or electronic format. Review the criteria and ensure you are eligible. The criteria may include the type of activity or project, the specific costs that will or will not be covered, is this a cost sharing agreement and is there a maximum amount that can be covered? Will it allow in-kind contributions as part of matching dollars? The location of the project or applicant, for example, the geographic area. The type of applicant, perhaps it needs to be done by a group or a specific type of group. The time frame for start and completion. Some specify it must be a new project that has not been started before receiving approval, or must be completed in a specific time frame. And finally, whether repeat applicants will be accepted or approved. Keep in mind that the time spent applying for a grant for which you are not eligible is time lost that has no results for your organization. How to access grants. Complete the application in full including all required documentation. Check to see if there is a specific format that is required. Typed as preferred or by computer as it is easier to read. Be sure information is readable, clear and concise. Do you need a quote on costs, letters of support, photos? Be sure to submit the application in the format requested. Some will specify by mail or online. Submit on or before the deadline. Most grants are oversubscribed and late applications will not be considered. Be sure to keep a copy of any application submitted, whether you have sent a hard copy or a submitted one online. Manitoba Sport, Culture and Heritage has an excellent website with tips for better grant applications. Let's review their suggestions. First, understand your own goals before looking for grants. Make sure there is a fit between what your organization wants to accomplish and what the grant program will support. Contact grant makers before you write your proposal to be sure you clearly understand the grant program guidelines. Follow the guidelines to the letter. Check out your target agency's recent awards. Narrow down your list of possible grant agencies to the most promising prospects. The best way to do that is to see what they have supported in the past. For example, the Manitoba Sports Culture and Heritage website has a list of past year's grant recipients and their projects. Talk to those who have received funding and ask for advice. Find out who gave grants in your region similar to your planned proposal. Set aside plenty of time. Don't underestimate how much time it takes to write a competitive application. Assemble a team to help. Don't try to do the whole thing on your own. Get people to track down estimates, talk to grant makers, and collect documents. Show that you have a significant need or problem in your proposal. Don't assume that the grant reviewers understand your project or its importance to your community. The first paragraph of your proposal is the single most important part. If the grant reviewer has a good idea of the direction of your proposal from reading the abstract, it creates an important first impression. Good proposals are easy to understand. If you are short and to the point, and you've answered the key questions, your grant will be viewed as understandable and fundable. Provide a reasonable and detailed budget. Do your homework on costs. Your budget must closely match the described activities. Be sure that your budget focuses on the areas that the grant will fund. Be sure to show other sources of income for cost sharing. 
Keep in mind that other organizations may be submitting proposals for similar projects. Are your costs reasonable for the work being done or the service being provided? Be realistic. Is it better to limit your proposal to fewer, more attainable goals than to promise more than you can deliver? Describe both the broad goals and measurable objectives of your project. Detail the activities that will accomplish the program's goals and objectives. Proofread spelling and grammar. Errors do not convey a positive image. Have a second set of eyes review your application. Someone who will nitpick. The more critical the reader and the more the application is nitpicked, the better. The more feedback you receive, the better the chance that errors or omissions will be caught before the application is submitted. This is your chance to fix unclear or contradictory areas. Have partners help. Other groups or agencies that share your need and will financially contribute to the project make the application stronger. If another group will benefit from the project, a letter of endorsement will help the application. Follow up with the grant maker about the outcome of your proposal after the results are announced. Even if it is turned down, ask for feedback about your proposal's strengths and weaknesses for the next time. Check the approval notification for any requirements for assessing the final grant. For example, due dates are very important. With some grants, if you miss the reporting dates, the funds are forfeited. Make note of special requirements before you start the project so you can be sure that they are met. For example, perhaps photos are required during the building process. Due dates are very important. With some grants, if you miss the reporting dates, the funds are forfeited. Try to submit well before the due date in case something is missing or must be added to your submission. Be sure that you have followed the required format. Is there a special form? What documentation must accompany the final report? Does the submission require that you include an invoice to the donor? Pictures? Original invoices marked paid or copies of checks to prove payment. If you used in-kind contributions, have you clearly outlined who and what they were and used realistic dollar amounts? Be sure to recognize the grant provider. Send them a letter of thanks. Are copies of any promotional or media releases required as part of the grant report? Mention their support on your website, in social media posts, and invite a representative to any celebrations of the completion of the activity or to sponsor recognition events. In summary, organizations typically have both internal and external sources of funding. There are numerous grant sources available for organizations. Have clear goals for your organization and match those with the goal of the grants being considered. Do your research and focus on the grants that will support your organization. To avoid disqualification, always follow all application instructions, deadlines, and rules. Comply with all requirements for final reports to access the grants. There are several resources that you may find helpful. Tips for better grant applications from Manitoba Sport, Culture and Heritage can be found at this link. SAS Culture has two online articles that may be of help, fundraising and grants. Both have links to other resources such as the Grant Writing Handbook from the Greater Victoria Community Funders Network. And finally, Volunteer Manitoba offers a number of in-person and online training opportunities, including effective proposal writing. 
organizations can also utilize their new Drop-In Resource Center, which includes access to Grant Connect, an online database of grants. Stay connected. Send questions to leadership at gov.mb.ca. Make time to visit the Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development Industry Leadership webpage at www.gov.mb.ca slash agriculture. There you will find a number of resources including fact sheets and worksheets, templates and guidebooks that will help you strengthen your organization. You will also find contact information for rural leadership specialists who are available to work with your ag organization. The website contains a wealth of information related to leading an organization, starting an organization, developing a strategic plan, being a board member, board operations, and dissolving an organization. The resources section also contains a number of tools and links that you will find helpful. Please join the conversation with Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development. Subscribe to our newsletter at the link below. Visit our website, manitoba.ca slash agriculture. Call our general inquiries line, 1-844-769-6224. View our videos on YouTube and follow us on Twitter.